This is a lie. Information about Gwent cards. My ass. Witchers, like sorceresses, are infertile. Anyway. All is in order. After that Gwent tournament, I got a weapon, I believe... Which I think is the one I currently put on? No, I didn't. Believe! 15% crit chance, 75 crit damage bonus. But the thing about the sword that I have is that it levels up with me. This is a steel sword, though. So, wait. Steel sword. Bonus experience. Chance to dismember. Chance to cause bleed. Yeah. Yeah. Should have done stagger instead, but you know what? That's fine. Actually running out of cont contracts again. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there.
What the French? What the French toast? Send the whip away to those running riot. Our dodgy values, peace and quiet. I hate him more and more with every passing second. Why will my vineyard not make me money? What's the point? The guard brings peace to our domains. Flout its written and brought in chain. Lads, I find your concern touching. I do. Yet I've long awaited this day. So you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah, it seems my guide has arrived. Greetings. Greetings to you, White Wolf. Uh, I presume you saw my notice? <laughs> Foolish question. You're here, thus you must have seen it. Forgive me, I should introduce myself. Count Belladal, a great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. Not something we witchers hear often. But Count, sir, do you mean to go off with just this witcher? A right hardy fellow he is, no ponce, I'm sure. But your expedition's too risky on the whole. And not taking us with you, pardon my saying it, right daft. You exaggerate, Vilma. I believe I can manage to survive half a day without someone there to wipe me ass in my stead. My guards lament, Witcher, but you must forgive them. Now, to get down to brass tacks, as you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I've a rather extraordinary proposition for you. Go on. I'm a lover, Witcher, of nature. <laughs> a devotee of the wild. And Tucson is home to several species not encountered elsewhere. I'd like you to accompany me on an expedition whose aim is to... Uh, preserve them. <clears throat> ah, yes. Uh, naturally, you'll protect me should the need arise. My ever-vigilant guard, see, will report any reckless behavior to my wife if I get so much as a scratch, and then war will be me. Count Belladal? Famous poultry farmer, is that it? <coughs> well, that was my grandpapa, dear man. But my trade is the wine trade. I import the finest vintages to Kavir, my homeland. The very reason for my frequent visits to Beauclair, uh, during which I like to... Uh, Partake of nature, let us say. Really need a witcher to uh, partake? Got guards of your own. Take them, save some coin. I could, surely. But they too deserve a bit of rest, relaxation. Right, lads? <laughs> Besides, I've plenty of coin. Coin that needs spending. Who dares stop me? Ah, so this is about a rich man, bored stiff, seeking thrills. There's also Clarissa, who... Vilma, please. Who what? Uh, my daughter. I always return from my travels with some souvenir or another. She looks forward to them tremendously. <laughs> but, uh, we did not meet to chat about my family. We must discuss our venture, must we not? I'm still a little concerned about this job. I love nature. I bring home souvenirs. This sounds like the man either is a taxidermist or he's doing something else with the animals, and I don't like either insinuation. Need some details before I can say anything. Where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna. And while we do, I might preserve a thing or two. Preserve? Explain. Of this device, see, uh, a parastysomac. It, uh, it captures, uh... Oh, so it's a... F okay, it's photography. Fine. What? It's 
like a movable megascope, capturing moments, transforming them into illusions, based upon which I then paint a painting. So, you want me with you, looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. Uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to capture. I know only the very approximate locations of their habitats. Well, and uh, should any trouble arise, we'll have your sword at the ready, right? So, agreed? Pay. Pretty unusual contract. I couldn't agree more, yes. And I'm prepared to pay a commensurately high fee. Don't mind if we actually talk about exactly how high that'll be first, do you? Why ever would I? Please, simply tell me how much you wish to receive. Let's max this out. Oh my god. Cheapskate. Sublime. <laughs> I'll take it. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime. In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. They located the habitats of the species of interest to me and marked out their ranges on the map. Okay, they're looking. It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? I'm afraid we've to await the morn. Proper light, see? It's very important. In the meantime... Be my guest at my fire, sir. I just wish I got more money. That's the problem. Oh, man. How much would you like? All of it. Okay, done. Jesus Christ, what is that? I guess that's the camera device, but still. Looks ridiculous. Tree, tree, or tree? Seems I got the map, so I'll lead. Wouldn't rather be out here with those guards of yours? <laughs> you jest. It's deliverance to emerge from under their wings. Believe me, they're overprotective. Uh, oppressively so. I wish to admire the wildlife. I was also not expecting it to be uh, head mounted. Fit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? Then we should have no other recourse. I do not wish to be something supper. You, but as long as they remain calm, we've no need to provoke them. It's, it's of the utmost importance to me, in fact. There should some panthers around here. Ground to stay close. Passing. Keep your eyes peeled. Something like a bear. But one request, Witcher. Avoid bloodshed, if at all possible. I need that bear to be where it is and not go anywhere else. that dear I think incredible sharp as a razor you're hearing 
Hear that? Panthers. Frankly, I did not hear a thing. Clearly, your senses are far more acute than mine. I must rely on them. Come on, dude. We're right here. Damn poachers. Snares. Looks like they were hoping for a bear. And they got caught instead. Look, oh, you freed it. A superb image. Fuck all witches heartless. This will put the light in us. Parastyso Max upset the animals. Better get out of here. Cut on the vine, Porching. I'm content you share my love for animals. Got pretty broad interests for a man of the city. I suppose I dabble in my share of things. Wine, nature, painting. I imagine the life of a witcher must be rather more monotonous. With all due respect. It is. Never boring, though. Uh, I, for one, cannot fathom only ever consorting with the same creatures, day in and day out. Got a wife? Yes. What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> Nothing. Just asking. <laughs> I can't fathom consorting with the same creature every day. Oh, really? <laughs> do tell. I don't really want to be messing with the centipedes, because they fucking attack me. Mm. Sounds loud and clear here. Must be near the nest. We're here. Well, this vantage point's no good. I shan't capture a good image from here. All right, wait. I'll find you a better spot that's safe too. Tread lightly. Giant centipedes sense the softest sounds, the lightest vibrations. You wake one up, it wakes up angry. Seems like a safe spot. Safe, perhaps. But it offers no view whatsoever. Hmm. Fine, we'll keep looking. About here. I don't know. Isn't it a bit close? Right. We'll find another spot. Here, maybe. Distance seems right. Light's not bad either. Yes. This will work perfectly. Gotta send some through the ground. I'll try tossing a bomb or casting a sign. And you watch out. Don't get any closer. Next 
excellent day for capturing moments. Thank you. Truly magnificent. We can move on now. Exhilarating. Positively exhilarating. Thank you. I have one more request. Local peacocks performing their mating ritual. I'd love to see that. Apparently, a flock dwells not far from here. We can go. Just don't count on peeping at them while they mate. Season ended a month back. Oh, it's terrible. I so wish to capture their splendorous tails in full bloom. Is there nothing you can do if they prove uneager to present? Perhaps challenge them somehow? Goad them? What did you have in mind? Don't have a tail myself, and I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. My thoughts were more along the lines of Witcher magic. They say you can exert influence over lesser creatures. Uh, yeah, guess I can try. Can't promise you anything, though. Splendid. Consider me contented. Uh, I cannot pinpoint the flock's location, but a hunter I know told me a few likely spots. I'll mark them for you. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. Somehow the peacocks are going to be the most dangerous ones. Somehow. I was wondering, why peacocks? My, my daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. We're close. Eyes in the back of your head. from the rump, coated in suet. Cock shed it recently and the suet's got a distinct scent. Ought to be able to track the flock. A witcher in action. What a treat to watch. <laughs> Hear that? They're calling to each other. Fabulous. We're getting close. Just splay the tails. See what I can do. Find a good spot. Ready! Use your magic, Witcher! <laughs> oh, this'll be a masterpiece! Smile, please! Giant centipedes! Damn it! Where did they come from? Must have followed us. Get back! Come ah. on! Was tense. Uh, I believe I've had my fill of excitement for today. Okay. What a wonderful adventure. Wonderful. Get everything you wanted. Yes. In that case, time to get back to your camp. I hope I get a no damage bonus. Returning your lord to you, safe and sound. You've our gratitude, master. You see, lads, there was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our day count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. New 
life. He was feeling down. Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarice is her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions he makes now. Or rather, paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about you were not exaggerated in the slightest. You show discipline, reliability, responsibility. I dare say you'd make the ideal business associate. That's a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. One day, maybe. Your reward. Use it well. I have a vineyard, man. I have one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Sure. Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Frankola. I'll be by. See ya. Frankola. There's going to be a picnic? A whole picnic? If there's another giant centipede over here, I'm going to cry. It'd be like the giant centipede from the other day. It's here. Now we wait. We meditate. Both male and female Beauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs. Yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. Cast your eye on the hunter, who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination <laughs> on his face. He did a selfie? <laughs> <laughs> Small gift for you, and I shan't let you refuse. Yeah, you are free to sell it, of course. Though I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Thanks. Talk to your guards back at the camp. Told me about Clarissa. Sorry to hear about her accident. Thank you. Kind words that mean a great deal to me. How's Clarissa these days? Probably can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> the yeah, very yeah. first selfie ever, yeah. I've dispatched two already. She'll not need to wait for my return. En route home, I mean to pass through Dolblathan. They say one can see Sylvan's there. Yeah, actually happened to know one. Name's Torque. He can be mean, but for the right fee, he'll do anything you ask. Splendid. I thank you for the hint. Tell him I send my regards. Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings, too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on fresh meat. And they praise you to high heavens for each trip, burp, and sneeze. Not all are lying sycophants, that's not what I mean. Just most, unfortunately. True story. Why bother? Why even invite them around? I'm a man of enterprise. 
must put my trade before any personal hatreds or sympathies. Besides... Uh... Besides? At times, I'll exhibit a completely failed painting just to listen to them twist their tongues into knots trying to find just the right superlatives to lather on smeared rubbish. Naturally, the more intent someone is to get into my good graces, the louder they praise my masterpiece. <laughs> it's devilish fun, I tell you. I like that idea. It's like, sometimes I just put up shit. I know, it's absolute garbage. But I wait for somebody to tell me it's good. Nice meeting you. So long now. Sometimes I just put up like the worst of the worst. Is it far enough away to care? Uh, nah, I can just go there. Teleport wouldn't be that much faster. It'd take longer for me to load back in than it would for me to just run there. That your horse? <laughs> Cute. My horse better. Anyway. I just wish calling the horse was like a little bit more, um, what do I want to say? Oh, there's that fu- oh, I've been looking for that signpost forever. Um, I wish the, uh, when you called the horse, it either was closer or it just put you automatically on the horse or something. Because normally it tries to like do the, the weird camera angle trick where it puts the horse out of view from like you. So you don't know that it's spawned in. But honestly, we all know what's happening. And then I have to go walking around and try to find the damn thing. Just like, come on. Just give me the horse. I know it's a game. It's fine. Hmm. Welp. That was the wrong spell. That's fine. Oh. Somehow I got both. We won't talk about it. Only now I realize that I was warning in with my sword out and about. Also, yeah, for those who missed, uh, I got a sword, which was this one over here, this blave. That's a pretty damn good sword, I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, it's up there. It's up there. It definitely outpaces my uh, my Grandmaster Sword, which is a shame, but makes sense. Makes sense. If I died from that, and I was very close, if I died from that, I would have lost it.
This is where the husband and wife are fighting. How did I... How did I not get this before? You don't need that ingot, right? Didn't think so. Oh, the lockbox. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, make it worth the journey. Empire of Nilfgaard has already conquered many kingdoms in the north. <laughs> the thing about Gwent 2, which is hilarious to me, uh, like just the card game in general, it uses like current heroes in the decks. Like, so Triss and everything else. Which, if it's canon, which it's probably not in the Witcher universe, it, but if it was canon, the thing to know about that is that Triss, Yennefer, and Geralt are just known celebrities around the world. And Ciri, because of their cards. Works hard on the nerves, eh? That's why you're so great. What's new, handsome Oi, knight? Master Witcher, uh, come here, please. Wound doesn't look good. Patch that up quick if I were you, before it starts festering. If I needed medical advice, I'd have called for a healer. And you look like none such, not even a quack. Uh. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted a witcher to help you, you should have thought twice about being rude. Forgive me. The pain's so blasted bad, it's darkened my mood. A foulness has made its lair in the grotto. I barely escaped with my life. I've been eyeing the cave for a storehouse quite some time. Would you look inside? Yeah, the weird thing about the Gaunter, like the Gaunter cards, I never, I, I don't know where I got those. I have no idea where the Gaunter cards came from. I, I don't remember winning them. I don't remember buying them. They just showed up. Well, that's close. A fair offer. See what I can do. Wait here, and you need to clean that wound. Trust me. Lifting hand to mouth. Why I stand to put nothing aside for my dotage. Beg your pardon? But of course, but of course.
So anyway, there I was, saving the world again. That's a whole jump and a half. Is there anything worth a damn over here? Is it just for show? It's just for show. You had bugs. So, will you see what I miss in my storehouse? Done that already. Ran into a few giant centipedes. Ah, uh, uh, and how am I to prevent them from crawling back in? Don't know. I kill monsters. Don't predict the future. You needn't be cross, Witcher. You shall get a good price on all my goods. In gratitude. Come back in two days' time. You will see the fine storehouse I've made. I'm on. See you later. Why is it everybody, like, takes, like, five different days to, like, do something? It's just like, why do we need to do that? It's a video game. I don't care. Just fucking say it's done. <laughs> just tell me it's done. Also, that is a high-level quest. Holy shit. I'm going to save my hands. Watch your stones. Are you drunk? Do I need to beat your ass? Anyway. Man was speaking gibberish to me. You hear that shit? It's a nest, isn't it? We're fighting vampires. Cool. It's beginning to look a lot like vampires. Everything I kill. Oh, it's an oil. I'm an idiot. There it is. Necrophage, ogroid. Light attack spam. Hey, listen. Light attacks are like what I use most often, and it's gotten me through the base game and most of the DLC so far. I mean, don't get me wrong, heavy attacks are fine and all, but 
you just open yourself up to a whole bunch of problems. Hey, lady. Don't mind me. I'm just going to take this, uh, this treasure here. Do I talk to... Okay, chat. Do I talk to her or do I let her be? She hasn't attacked me. All right. Leave me alone. Thank God I didn't swing at her. Thank God. I could have. Is there anything on the way... To it, there is actually. Eh, let's go. I really like how it said guarded treasure, though. checkpoint come on That's enough of that. So they were evicted. Okay. Come evening, I'm off to the hell, quick as a fly. Those girls can't wait to see you. What else you got in here? Is there what kind of I don't even know I don't even know I don't even know is he bragging that he can't hold his tools or haha <laughs> look at me my hand shakes really bad I, I can't work properly all these houses are locked. Why put them in here? What's the point, damn it? What's the point? I bet you don't even play Gwent. What? Not for you, Witcher. That werewolf. 
My, he have devoured us all. The werewolf. Did you kill it? Mm -hmm. It murdered folk, devoured sheep, ravaged the farm. Oh, what a relief that's done with. I thank you. If you wish, I shall give you a trim. I just need a moment. My hands are still shaking. Hmm. What's a barber do on a farm like this? He shears sheep, because sheep are calm, unlikely to scream at him if a lock is out of place or a color a touch off the desired shade. And here, no one threatens to shorten you by a head if you trim a bit too much. Somebody threatened to do that to you? To me? No. But, well, one hears things. I found it impossible to work under incessant pressure. But when I saw the notice, urgent specialist sheep shearer sort, well, I didn't give it a second thought. And it was pleasant at first, but then that werewolf appeared. I tried the goatee for a minute. Mustache and a little duck tail on my chin. Nah. Take care now. You, Witcher, that werewolf. <sighs> my, he the devour. Yeah, I know, that werewolf. How scary, how terrifying. Um, yeah, I can't even teleport there if I wanted to. We'll go to the next one. On to the next! Sort away, please. Thank you. But yeah, so I've got like god tier swords. I've got almost god tier equipment. I've got one piece of feline armor that is not fully grandmastered. I've got one grandmastered sword, which has now become null and void because of a different sword, which is the Ar Arondite. So I'm like, I don't even know if I want the full armor set anymore because. I mean, I do get the attack bonus. That's kind of nice. But other than that, if I can find something else that replaces it, we will see. Can I not get in here? Like, honestly, Geralt should be able to just walk through that hole. Let's be honest. He should just be able to get in. But because, you know, game logic. That right there, also same. See, but that's the thing. Like they try to they try to bluff some things and then other things they don't care, which is a little little weird. Hey guys. How are you? How's it going? Ow.
There's still some more boys. Garkins. Somewhere via portal. Damn it. Oh. I see, I see. Whoa, where'd the dogs come from? What the dog doing? Oh, okay, we're all saying hello. Hello! Welcome, guys. Hey, you know that indoor combat is my specialty? Were you aware of this, guys? Let me tell you. I play Dark Souls for a living. I know exactly how this works. Anyone else? We good? Any more bodies? But damn, them boys follow me all the way down here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I like it. in a blue world and all day and all night and everything he sees just blue like him inside and outside all right anyway <sighs> moving on i've got a bunch of swords i'm not doing anything with plenty of inventory space still because i'm a chad Could kindly stop being a dickhead, that'd be great. Oh, 
Anyway, while I'm killing things, how's everybody else doing? Everybody having a good time? Everybody enjoying the slaughter? The body parts and, you know, all that other stuff that this fine witcher is taking care of? These are some weird missions. These are some weird, weird missions. Confusion grows. How? Oh, there it is. My Let's dance. Look at all those spoons.
But of course. Thanks, guys, for showing up late. It was spectacular, or er, spectacular, when I killed fifty guys and you showed up at the last minute. It's like you stopped a gang. Okay, cool. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we were still on that quest, weren't we? we we're still on that mission. Were we not? Don't dare to think you've got carte blanche here. There we go. Now to activate the portal, see where it drops me. I missed. Diagram. Jerome. 
Someone made a note. son being a witcher, uh, a grim tale, but I came for the diagrams, should be somewhere around here. One moment. I believe it falls under vampires. It's a vampire, all right. It's like a damn truck. I was trying to slow it down or do something, but I couldn't like even get a block off.
I guess black blood is the way. But I don't... It wasn't like a life drain from his claws, was it? Hmm. Yeah, I hear you over there. So the bomb, the bomb didn't really help me all that much. It didn't do a lot of damage. It tried. But it didn't do a lot. Um, potions, though. That went much better. Don't ask me why. I don't know. that vibration anyway see I can't hit those high notes anymore used to when I was like not 13. Pretty much going to the same place, which is fine. Was that where I was? Damn, that's a long ass cave. That's a long ass cave. Night errant in distress. Let's dance. Hmm. 
Leave him alone. I know I blew him up, but leave him alone. We won't talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, saved your life. We'll just ignore the explosion that nearly took you out. And the fire. You know, all that. Just, just ignore it. No big whoop. Yep, saved his life. What the hell is this? Faithful friend? Oh, it must be a sword or something. How did I run out of blowball? I don't know. No point in asking dumb questions because we'll never know. We will never know. I, like, how would I get these? Like, why would I kill somebody just for these? That's my question. Why would I ever? I thank you for saving my life. Yeah, you're welcome. I saved your life, don't worry about it. Don't think about it. Just ignore, like, the f first degree burns and, you know, everything else. Yeah, you just, it's fine. Safety measure. People? Hello? Hello, mother. Hello, father. It's your son or it's your daughter. <sighs> you know what? We're just going to go into the mine because that's where they're going to tell me, Oh, there's a beast in the mines. We're a mining village and it attacked all our kin. Blah, blah, blah. You know, that sort of thing. It's a werewolf, I tell you. It's at least three people tall.
a wolf <laughs> becomes a miner on the full moon. Oh my god. You can hear his pickaxe just going at it in the middle of the night, only on nights of the full moon. Salutations, why are you here, Witcher? What's new, handsome knight? All right. Good talk. How's it? Well, it's hard on the nerves, eh? It's why you're so great. Why do you just have this here? Is this to trick people into dying? Because I would. I was about ready to just jump out and be like, Hello! But no. It's a fucking 50-foot drop. Yeah, they're working all right. Okay, I don't know who designed this town. They need to go and revisit, like, their entire life because this is my downfall. Gravity is, like, the worst in any game. Especially this type of game where, like, you fall ten feet to your death. Like, what, what am I supposed to do? How do I get down? Who designed this? Why are you designed this like this? What's up, Soup? Yes. Oh, welcome. Nobody wants to talk to me about the ghouls. No one at all. What they call it, blasting devils? Are you doing, man? What plague? An unfortunate turn of events, that's all. Get back to chiseling. If we don't deliver that hat on time, the infestor will twist my plums off. Is that what you'll tell Emil's widow? That a cow crushed him and it was an accident? This, sir, is a grave matter. It requires a specialist, some mage or warlock. What happened here? Look, it's that witcher who's come to town. Maybe he can do something. An exorcism or the like. We should ask how much coin he wants. Saw your notice. Got a problem with... The cow? Fear a plague, is that it? Yes, indeed, and a horrid one at that. We've earned the gods something true we have. In Zeracania, they've sent a plague of locusts, then of frogs. With us, they skipped right to raining cows <laughs> down on us. <laughs> enough, enough. No need to so panic. Come, Master Witcher, I shall divulge to you the matter at hand. Yes, an unfortunate matter indeed, to be crushed by a cow. A true shame, Emil. He was a good worker. I told them at once there had to be a simple explanation. But that lot, no, right away they started in screaming. They Blake! would. Demanding higher wages for hardship, poor working conditions, you see. They ruined me, the plotters. Mm. My job is to figure out why a cow fell from the sky. That it? That too. The thing is, since none bother to clear the cow corpse, some filths overrun the other pit. We fear to venture there. The one I cleared up? Not surprised. Cow, where'd it come from? What kind was it? Why, the ordinary spotted kind. Nothing unusual. Its corpse rots in the other pit, sends out its stench, and the meal lies right beneath it. Will you tend to the matter and take on the contract? What exactly is going on here? Construction of a statue of the Prophet Lepiota. We're carving it. Not all at once, that is, but piece by piece. A pious infestus revived the project after years of neglect. He's engaged all nearby quarries in its completion. And we would be on schedule were it not for the incident. Please, Master, will you look into it? Need to know more about this accident. Anyone 
anyone actually see what happened? No, but sounds there were. Osterf had just gone to see how Emil was getting along when suddenly we heard an ear botching boom. Moments later, something smashed into one of the cranes. Doubt it was the cow that hit the crane. Probably true. At any rate, come morn, we ventured out to sea, but the vermin drove us off. With that, all work came to a halt. Has remained so since. Master, tarry no longer, please. Will you take on the matter? Need to talk about my reward before I decide. Ah, time for a good haggle. So how much would you take? A good haggle. You must go lower for it to make it any. You are killing me, dude. Fine. But that is the sum total. No bonuses or gratuities on top. Understood. Fine, I'll look into it. Might be a botched portal, but I doubt it. Let me also reward you with progeny plenty. I shall keep an eye out for your return. Okay, that is the that is the con the, the contract. He's talking about the Gwent tournament? The one that I won? With a piss poor Skelligate. L listen, don't get me wrong. Skelligate decks are very interesting. They are very, very strong. Especially if you get the right combos. But they rely so much on those combos, it's hard. It's difficult to make that work. Must be a meal. Workers mentioned him. Poor guy, unlucky as all hell. Right, now where do I start? Deep claw wounds. Spread between talons indicates a draconid. It's definitely a draconid. Probably. But these wounds weren't the cause of death. Got sliced open. Hmm. Not much blood, so it happened after death. Heart had already stopped pumping. Tooth marks. Small ones, though. So necrophages left him clearly. Sure sniffed out their feast fast. Tissues crushed in places. Must have fallen from quite a height. Crushed by something heavy. Skull base is cracked. Fresh tooth marks. Necrophages. But they got to him after his death. Won't learn anything else from the body. Got it. All clear now. Cow died when it fell from a great height. Draconid must have dropped it. A youngster probably trying to get the cow back to its nest, but it proved too heavy. Emil's bad luck to be standing right underneath. And then there's the crane. All right, chat, I have a serious issue, and that issue is I need to go to the restroom, so I'm going to go do that. Take a break, grab a drink, grab something to munch on, I'll be right back.
All right. And I'm back. Grabbed a bev while I was thinking about it. <sighs> but I just love how there's a menu specifically for the Gwent deck. It's just like, hey, you want to look at some cards? You want to look at your deck? Good. Should be simple to track down. Traces of draconid blood. Barely perceptible. I'm on the right track. Even after all that, I still haven't gone through all of my oil. Why do I feel like this is going to turn into, I'm going to kill the baby and then Big Mama's going to show up? Started bleeding heavily. Wound was more serious than I thought, looks like. Damn, this thing was like oozing. Oh my god. <laughs> um Whoops. Whoops. When I dip back for the uh, for the uh, the hunt, I'm definitely gonna have to like get rid of some stuff. I honestly, when I started like an hour ago, I had a hundred um, one hundred uh, weight left. I was just like, oh, oh, oh my god! Landed on the roof of the distillery, raised a ruckus, made a mess. And moved on. Paw prints crawled through here. Clearly too tired to fly. Was in a bad way. Barely crawling. It's probably going to be dead by the time I get there. Crawling in my crawl. Second dragon had landed here. A larger one. Waited for the smaller one to heal. Then they flew off together. What did I say? Easy to track. 
Smaller one was still bleeding, luckily. Baby and mama. Flew off together. Probably bound for their nest. I hear scuttling. Trail ends here. Nests up there. I bet the farm on it. The whole farm. Oh, there's slizards. Not necrophages. Not ogres. Where's my draconid list? There it is. The real fall blues. Jesus, how far down? Here we go. Hmm. Magic. A place of power. I have one whole ability point.
It's not bad. That's not bad at all. For those who knew, the panic was real. Also, since I'm here anyway, I might as well do this too. Must be that ruined Fort Lafargue mentioned. Worth a look. There it is. Griffin gear actually isn't bad either, but it's mostly if you're doing signs. The wolf gear relies on, like, the potions and, like, all of your equipment items. Which, again, not terrible, but I don't use potions all that much. Like, the cat school makes the most sense because I'm more combat related than anything. An ur sign is basically, do you want to be big boy? Do you want to have big armor and then hit like a truck? It probably does strengthen you to strong attacks too, but... I can't imagine playing this game with only strong attacks. That has to be like the most annoying way to play. Follow the road so I don't fall into a pit. Because that would be my luck. You! You don't look like a quarry man to me. That stand in the way of our doing business? No. It merely means I doubt you'll find anything of use here. I mainly stock goods for the men at the quarry. Hammers, spikes, hand cream. But if you want a glance, feel free. I shan't stop you. You always this personable? Or do you just get up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? I got up on the right side. I always do. My left leg's been lame ever since my accident. I worked here once, see? Breaking stone. Until a part of a rock face fell away and crushed my foot. Hmm. Sorry. Feel foolish now. Not to worry. Such things are commonplace here. Part of the job. Every now and then someone breaks something. Twists an ankle. Or their neck. Show me what you got. Show me what you're working with. Dude, you're selling drugs? Why are you just selling drugs, man? What's wrong with you? Also, use some broke-ass mug.
I'm selling you the cheap stuff. And you'll still broke ass money. There, now he's got something to sell that isn't just pickaxes. Can't do the enriched stuff. Gotta go. Farewell. Only here. Buy a full set of gear, get a bottle of Fiorano free. Buy a full set, get a free bottle of wine. Woo! How that cow came to fry. Yeah, you can get back to work. And it wasn't a plague of falling cows. Did I not say so from the start? A weight off my chest. So, what was behind the animal's plummet? Young slizzard flying over the quarry dropped it, was trying to get it back to its nest, food for its mother and siblings. Probably heard the last of the beasts. Burned the nest, eggs, everything. A praiseworthy precaution, but as I said, I can only pay you what we agreed. I simply haven't any more. Here, take this. And I thank you, Master. Did he give me something else on the sly, or...? Here, take this. Why was there a whisper? All cleared up now, right? No gods, no plague, just the dragon, but it's gone too. We're to pay Emil's widow compensation, and that will be that. So, why do you still stand there and wait, men? Back to work, chop chop! And I've a notion suspicious workings are still afoot. What became of the builders who were to put the statue together? They were due three days back, yet there's still no sign of them at Ardesto. They were crushed too, I'm certain of it. Or eaten, or, or locusts got them, like in Zeregania. What's this rubbish you spout now? The architects wrote they would arrive a week late with a large shipment of marble from Metana for the Prophet's beard. So stop flapping your yaps and get to work. Allow me to walk you away, Master. Truth be told, I lied. But I cannot have them panic again. The workers he mentioned, they've indeed vanished. Come see me later, I shall divulge to you the details. All right.
So, Master, the workers who vanished. How goes the search? They vanished? What's that mean? Just that. Along with ample supplies. I had placed an order. More than a dozen wagons reached the building site, yet five were lost along the way. Tools, food, building materials, and first and foremost, the specialists we need. The chief architect included. I wrote to the architect to say the quarry awaits. He should send new plans. But the foreman said the architect was here, at Ardaizo. And this means... He's missing too. Got it. I'll look around, see what I can learn. Master, I know not how to thank you, but I beg you to hurry. We shall simply not finish without those five wagons. So this was the initial start for that Lebiota thing. I've already done two missions, though. Yeah. I'd already done two missions. There has to be a signpost for this somewhere. There has to be. Anything that helps me get there faster. Oh, thank God. I was like, there's got to be somewhere.
It's no small chunk of change. That's no small chunk of change. Why is there nothing here? Wanted to make a damn fight, didn't you?
has to be a signpost somewhere. There has to be. There's absolutely no way these places exist and they don't have a signpost assigned to them. This is already too far as it is. Gotta be like right there or something. It is dark as all sin out here. Roach, for fuck's sake, come on. So fast, Roach. But no, first. First and foremost. The Embassy.
I haven't seen Eileen's account on Discord in a minute. I'll approach in a minute. I need to sell this crap to this one guy who won't give a shit. Out of the way, folks. I have to see a man about a thing. Nice tune. Nope, not you. You! Greetings. I hope your search goes well. What do you have on offer? You have 20,000 gold or so. Yeah, you do. I was about to say. There's no way you don't have that much. Dahlia is a good fucking weapon, though. Ugh. Like, that's no lie.
That one's not good. Black Unicorn. That's not good either. Bien Shi. Frost damage, Arg intensity. Wasn't the chest armor? Oh, do I have all the Grand Masterpieces? I guess I do. Farewell. Good luck on the path. So, let's look at what we got real quick. Mm-hmm. Next to fifty more damage. The Rondite's not bad though. Like that is not a bad weapon. If I didn't have the Witcher gear, I would totally stick with that. Ah. Damn, though. Damn. Gah! I was doing the quick math in my head, which means the math is probably wrong, but I feel like... That works better. Just having all the pieces. Granted, it's only for back attacks. Dress to kill. Achievement unlocked. I think that's because I have all the, uh, all the Witcher gear on. I don't remember when I grandmastered the other thing, though. Hunt. What, Jaquette? My eyes were not deceived. Yet so far south. You, sir, of all folk in all your fame. Mm hmm. Me, south in all my fame. Oh, I've heard so much. Why, when Master Dandelion tarried in Beauclair, not a day passed without him baying out a ballad in admiration of your teeth. <sighs> yeah, unwelcome little habit of his. But, what can I do for you? Ah, 
you see my betrothed, Francois Le Goff, vowed in my honor to bring me the head of the horrid beast they call Bertori. Hmm. Couldn't have gotten you a bouquet, some sweets in a bag. Witcher, sir, you jest. A love most true demands proof through heroic deeds dedicated to the heart's captor. But alas, Francois has been gone a fortnight. Thus, I must plead with you to see what's become of him. For two weeks. Would you? Would you? This Grotore. Know anything else about it, mademoiselle? Judging by the name, guessing it lives in a cave. Yes. From which it prowls when hungry. By night, when all are asleep, it creeps into villages. Then, of a sudden, breaks open shutters. Reaches inside and snatches babes from their cradles so quickly they've not the time to yelp. Hmm. Nocturnal. Hung prehensile arms. Intelligent. Francois claimed he would cut the filth down in a snap. But he's been gone so long. Will you help, sir? I cannot sleep. I fear this worrying will be the death of me. Rarely my want to turn down a damsel in distress. Even less so when there's a <clears throat> prize involved. Ah, naturally. Why, you, sir, are no knight errant, but a guildsman, an expert. How much would you need? Master, forgive me, but you ask. A few crones less, master. A fistful. Yes, that amount I am prepared to pay. Do my damnedest to get your fiancé back safe and sound. Just, uh, mind telling me where to look for him? I forget you come from afar and do not know our land. They say Grotore has its lair in the caves at the foot of the Gorgon Hills. That close to the city? Telling me no bold souls have ventured out to defeat the beast? Quite the contrary. Plenty have, but none's returned. My concern is well founded. I see. All right. High time I set off. Find Francois. This thing's like up a hill, down a hill, over a hill, in a mountain, in a cave.
A beast lurks in there. Am I dead or did I live? As much as I. Shh, quiet before you wake it. Come, I've camped nearby. We shall talk there. What do they call you? What's your crest? Speak. Geralt of Rivia, crest of the bridge. Hail and well met. Francois Legoff, I presume. Your betrothed sent me. See, you've been gone a while, so you've got her worried. I... well, indeed, for... for... Grotore is a most fearsome beast. I must prepare properly for battle. Takes two weeks, that? I have... Tarried a bit, true, but the delay is done. My word I gave, thus the beast shall die. Wouldn't happen to need any help, would you? I, I don't know. After all, I did swear a solemn oath to... Deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No mention of you killing it all by yourself, though. All in all, I... I suppose you're right. We must fight side by side then. For honor. I'm doing it for money. Should be the one to lop off its head. We gotta kill it first. Hmm, strange. No sign of Gratori. Impressive. You'd think you were in a winter garden. Various sundries, some tools. Gratori must have taken them from its victims. Bones, small skull, Fontanelle's not completely closed. Infant, about a year maybe. Cradle filled with children's shoes. Can I ever see a collection of this grotesque? Oh, you put on your helmet now. I don't know why reading the bestiary now is like become the default. Because I already read the bestiary, what? Why is it telling me to do it now? Relic oil, igni.
Not an easy fight. By my troth, the damned brute was sturdy. I, I'm grateful, Witcher. You ate at me greatly. Why the challenge? Couldn't have gone after something less formidable? A werebub, for instance? Uh, why? For... For the beast must match in ferocity the very ardor of my affection and... You are blushing, Sir Knight. Oh, it's my betrothed. The thing is, she champs at the pit to get married when we've not known one another for two years. So I bowed to slay Gratori. Thought it would buy me time to battle such a beast why it could take months. Mm -hmm. Especially at the rate you were going. High time you returned to Beauclair, brave knight. Nay, oh, nay. The head of this beast is a trifle, wholly inadequate to express the love I harbor for my betrothed. The world awaits. Uh, to honor her, I shall cut down another, more terrible beast. Take my advice. Grab the damned head and cut the shit. You're blind to my predicament. Once I return, I will have no recourse. She'll drag me to the nearest shrine, while... Shut up and listen. Crests, scrap metal armor, swooning damsels... All that's nothing to do with hunting monsters. Witches work. Damn hard, dangerous, and thankless work. That you're just not cut out for. Wanna prove your valor? Go back to your betrothed and be honest. Tell her you're not ready to marry. You do not mince words, master. In Tucson, one might demand satisfaction upon trampled ground, for a lesser slight. Yet, there is truth in what you say, I cannot deny. I survived with my life by a hair. It is time... time I returned home. Tried to keep me out of here. But there's nothing in here, so it was just a barrier to be a barrier. Had nothing to do with anything else. But yeah, that's that's part of it. It's just like, yeah, I will hunt a more vicious monster. It's like, listen, dude, you weren't even hunting the first monster, okay? You weren't even killing the first monster, let alone any other monster. Like, there are jobs that nobody really wants in it. Really? Really just screw you over. As far as this narrative for monster hunting, that's still the case. Like, 
Nobody cares that you killed like a hundred Neckers or any other monster for that matter. Oh, you killed a Draconid? Okay, kill another five. And it's just like, you know, it wasn't easy to do that, right? It's like many another odd job where underappreciated and unless something goes wrong people really don't appreciate it you know that's the sad truth about a lot of jobs though it's like nobody actually cares how good a job you're doing unless something went wrong in response to you not being able to do your job or thinking that they undervalued you after the fact. Like, let's say, let's say I work a job, right? I work whatever. Uh, sales associate at a Walmart or something like that. And I, I'm the best cashier that they have. Polite, friendly, do everything correct and all that sort of stuff. And for whatever reason, I'm running the largest numbers of anybody on the board. Because either my coworkers are lacking or managers are poor, whatever. doesn't matter, but I'm still doing my job and I'm doing it well. Then one day, I get called to do something else. And the lines back up, right? The lines back up, people are doing the numbers wrong, not doing the cashiering right, being unfriendly, all that sort of stuff. And then the business is like, oh, you know, maybe, maybe we should do something about that. But they don't care unless something goes wrong. They don't care unless those things are happening. Got good news, madam. As do I. Francois has returned. We marry in a week's time. <laughs> Prenuptial teachings at the temple tomorrow. Dress fitting the next morn, then a tour of the wedding venue. I have never been so happy. Congratulations. Congratulations, I guess. Wish you happiness, both of you. And good fortune to you on your path. You're the world master. And Godspeed. I'm not going to talk to a woman and tell him that, or tell her that her husband's a fucking loser because he's just gonna have to live with that he made that choice not me i'm not his mom i'm not his mother he can figure it out Well, if he doesn't figure it out, that's on him.
Off we go. Stay still for five seconds. There we Need something. But yeah, I poisoned myself because I'm an idiot. That's okay, though. It's kind of funny, actually, because... Like... The one potion gives me full health.
Hey, Mr. Archerman. Fuck off. famous witcher, would you not? Exactly. I shall hitch my wagon and set off for the monument works at once. They await me there. I am poisoned as fuck. It is not dropping either. <laughs> Taking me the opposite direction, I know, but still. Shut up. 
Hmm. Oh, there's more. through by the prophet's intervention he was your he nudged your footsteps here you say so. What shall we call you, hero? <sighs> I'm Geralt. Geralt of Rivia. Geralt! Lovely, it rings. Sacred it sounds. Do you thirst or hunger? Hmm. Let me see what you're serving. Got all that alcohol. Here, take that. Lady, what? Oh, so I'm going to meditate for like an hour. For the common folk. Well, Thank you, Witcher. There we go. All right, so where are we going? We are going to the moon. Um, we can always get back here, I guess. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. Gonna run over you, cat. Woo! 
boop. It, like, it literally sounds like a cuckoo clock. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Cuckoo, cuckoo! Cuckoo! Just oh, horse things. Impressive. Oh, it's actually not too far. Easy kill. Alright, you with the arrows. We need to talk. Why even bother? What did they hope to steal? Hammers? A hunk of stone? I see. All right. High time I set off.
I had to find the one hidden treasure underwater. I had to find the one. Oh no, it's in a cave. Not a bad haul of gold and diamond and jewels actually matter for something in this game. They don't, though. Like, that's the thing. Like, the swords and everything else, like the armor set from the guys, they're worth way more money. Moving along.
Hello. Blue armor die. Okay. Is it just the one enemy? I have to swim back, don't I? There's no shortcut out of here. Ah, oh well. When I first went in here, you take the risk of like, how far is this tunnel? But, alas, it's fine. No big deal. Back on our secondary quests, I think. No, we're not on secondary. We're on... I do need to do that one. That was the one I was going for before. And then I forgot. The sunken wagon. I got distracted by other shiny things. Y'all hear that giant chicken? On record, the pig attacked me first. I did not attack the boar at all. It came after me. Not good. Oh. Oh. That's not looking too good. Blood. Lots of it. Someone's dead. Let me light the fire. The really small, unhelpful fire. Kick you more. Oh yeah. Oh. Maybe it was just an animal. If it was just one horse, that's fine, but I need the workers. I haven't seen any giant centipedes in a minute. Could not be a dick. Thank you. Kick you more eggs. Need to insist. 
incinerate these to ash. So, missing workers. This is what became of them. Yo, seriously? We just lost one group of workers? Game explain. <sighs> All right. God to the right. I didn't even realize they had an IRS. Oh, there's the marker, finally. The guard brings peace to our domains. Flout its writ and rot in chains. Anybody who says verily automatically loses any potential talking ability with me. Just like, don't say verily ever to me. to finish the statue like you asked. Master, what would I have done without you? Countless throngs of Lepiota's followers will praise in prayer. And you'll pay me, right? But of course, your reward. The investor is a serious man of enterprise. Our plan foresees mass conversions. With the donations that will follow, we aim to recoup the cost of production. 800? All right, years. that's not bad. Everything has been calculated, you see, down to the last decimal. Good luck then. Farewell. We're going to use everybody who worships this thing and get their money. Sounds like a smart enterprise to me. Hang on, check it out. Save real quick. Quests. Uh, yeah, let's do that. It's actually not that far away. Let me check the map. Mm. You know what? Let's... Let's work our way down and around. We're going to go this way and then just work around it.
You think this shrine will... Don't mind me just walking through. Specter in a place like this. Whoa, good spell. Interesting fight. Interesting battle. Spirit won't rest in peace until I bury the remains. Some sarcophagi in the first chamber. Good work. I found the Manticore set. Interesting. What was I doing? You've been to Zeracania. Yeah. I guess they're worshiping now. Okay. Cool. Um yes. Mm, yes. I also really like the part where like that is related to the Manticore set in some way. Just like, oh yeah, by the way, break into this temple. But there's a diagram in here for some Witcher gear. Worship, worship, worship. Oh, please, no. Okay, thank God. I was like, if I can't climb this wall. Still have no idea where to find those cherries, though, because I really need, like, a lot of them. Good. You're the second one that almost died to something like this. Trent, I 
Thank you once more for saving my bum. You, it's the same guy. No wonder. He maintains his health for every fucking battle. Dude, you need to stop. You need to leave. Oh, there's another bandit. Of course there's another bandit. Again, starting off a fight with a heavy attack is so counterintuitive. Like, I get what they're going for gameplay-wise, but... That bonus to light attacks only after you do a heavy attack is just like... Mm. What's the combo string? So how do I get into this area? It's probably related to the other sign, to be honest. Because it seems like it's an underground cavern. In fact, I'll stake all I know on it. Bandito! I'm going to chop off your head -oh. Or your legs, you know, that's fine. Legs are fine. But yeah, like I was saying, cave opening. There's no way it wasn't going to be. Wet letter smelling of soap. Well, these boys are just doing their laundry. Oh, I mean, listen, if you just said so instead of like shooting at me with arrows, we could have done our laundry together.
Yeah, blood, blood. Keep saying blood. Keep yelling it. may not let me do this, but we're going to try anyway. Alright, dickhead. Explosives. He didn't need that head anyway. It's kind of hard to tell where to go. This cave's actually massive. Kill.
That's not Igni at all. Pardon? Game, come on. There we go. Hey there, buddy. Oh, he's got a shield. I think I killed every single other member of your squad. You're going to drop this here soon. I just know it. There we go. just be sitting on a pile of treasure. Also, yes, I am encumbered, but you know what? We're going to live with that for right now. I'm asking is is there an armorer here somebody I can pawn this shit off to Don't dare to think you've got carte blanche here! Yep, 
And yes, unfortunately, I can only go this fast for right now. <laughs> Yes, I am a killer. You you got that correct. Good job. You must be a scholar as well. Sheamus, you did our work for us. If it was your job to exterminate them, yeah, I did. They were like an ulcer on Tucson's derriere. Loath heartbeat. The most cankerous of them all. This loath half-breed, part elf? You might have had a look before you tore out his innards. He was called Halfbreed, rumored to be half elf, but in truth, who knows? Besides, how is one to know a half elf? By one normal ear? One pointy? I've no notion. Probably right. You mean they really have two different ears? No, you really don't know a thing about them. Mind if I have a look at your goods? Be my guest. I've top-notch armor, but as an expert, you'll see that for yourself. Were we, like, just bitching at each other, just being like, ah, you don't know shit, and, you know, I don't know, weird. So my logic now, don't get me wrong, I see the damage numbers and everything else, but my logic now is if my sword is worth more money than your sword, I'm going to sell it. Because the bonuses I get now actually matter. Whereas in the beginning, the damage is what mattered. God, that's a good sword, though. Look at it. Ah! Such a good sword. Like that one, too? <sighs> like, it's worth thousands. Alright, I need to get rid of this crap. He's going to run out of money before I do, though. Game, what are you doing to me? Come on. Get the stragglers, too. I'm at 24 grand now, I think. Also, something broke. Hang on, let me fix that. Oh no, where'd he go? He's not in the corner anymore. Ah! I can always tell when my cam just turns off randomly. I have no idea why it does that. Not a clue. There we go. Need to reset my position though. Because this is resting. There we go. Got it. Wonderful. Wunderbar. I need to put these on the sword racks, though. Like, look at that fucking sword. It's so damn good. But my Witcher sword is twice the cost. And I don't fully understand why, except for the bonuses. The crit chance, the bleeding, the dismember chance, and then the bonus for the monsters. Like, that one gets stronger as you level up. Which is another thing I just love about it. But like the other ones here. Like they do way more damage. But even then they don't compare. As far as price is concerned. And I'm just like. Ugh. 
Good weapons, though. Good weapons, though. Fix that sword. You're not a you're not a master armor, you're only a journeyman. You lied to me. You lied to me. Good enough. So long. I've got more money than I know what to do with from this... from these encounters alone. Like, the basic weapons, even though they sell... for, like, only a couple hundred a pop. Like, when you have ten of them... That makes a big difference. why you bitches are all angry at me. I'm the one who did all the work. I got rid of every single bad guy in here. And you're all giving me shit. You're all giving me bullshit. Look, there's some drowners outside. What the hell's wrong with you? Do your jobs. You're not even defending the entrance. How are people supposed to get in to put the workers in? gonna buy that? I was gonna get that. Also, there was another mission I was doing over here. I think it was at Fox Hollow or something. We're gonna do that, though, real quick. I think it was one of the secondary quests talking about the, uh... <sighs> the armor, or the, the blacksmith or something. No, it was the woodcutter. That's who it was. Okay, well, that's cool. Don't mind me then. Parchment! You know, that kid's thinking. You know, do, do monsters have parents? And the answer is technically. Money. There's just something about cutting a creature completely in half. Cathartic. Was this like a sumo ring? What the hell is going on here? My arm is 
itching. All right. Maybe it wasn't in Fox Hollow. Maybe it was in here somewhere. Hang on. Let's take a look. According to the map... Weird. I thought it was a fox hollow. It's just in the middle of the road. What a weird mission. Oh! Wolves, I swear to God, you better leave me alone. Go after a deer or something. Gods be bum poked, you must hang on, milady. Pardon? You, Jacob. Heal, Mohort, now. Who asks? A witcher. Saw your notice. Hold up. A witcher, you say? Like in Louis Herrera's tales and fables. Luckier than a green, bleeding leprechaun I am. See, not a soul around believes this tree is Daphne, the cursed lady of legend. But you, you could lift the curse. Bit too old to believe in bedtime stories, aren't you? Want your chops busted, Witcher? How old I am, that is none of your porking concern. Fair point. Not my business what you believe, either. Ha! Huh. I'm content we see eye to eye. Dude, you have issues. So what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well, I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, a broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk, and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. My jaw dropped in the dirt, but right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tale of Daphne Gareth and the Witch of Lynx, Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's tales and fables. You porking bet. Second edition. I meant it in Octavo. I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover. Colophon included. Got me curious, gotta admit. You really think the old tales are true? Taking the weepy, are you? Do you think me bore me? No, it's just these are dark, grim times. No room for knights pure of heart or happily ever afters. So I don't often run into folk like you. Yes, true, the times are crud pie. But I see this as all the more reason to remember the tales. My gran would say, if you know not what to do, think to the chessboard knight and noble Alundra, and the path they would choose. She schooled me so thorough in it, I could not do otherwise, even if I wished to. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now. So we're going to take the curse off of a tree. I swear I hear sobs in the rustling leaves. Damn. It actually does bleed. Looks like human blood, too. And the bark resembles hypertrophic scars in places. 
Medallion's humming like crazy. Intense magic at work here. Blood. Seeped from the direction of the tree, judging by the shape of the stain. Yeah, that tree is definitely crying. Logger was making good time. Strange, though. Willow's isolated. No other trees near it. And? Did you look at the tree close? Mm hmm. Actually, does bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks wondrous. Did I not say so? My help doesn't come free, you know. You speak to a lowly woodcutter. No stench of coin about me. Agreed. I will okay. pay as soon as the young mate is free. Willing to help, but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome love for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why. To await the moment when Gareth returns, kerchief in hand. That is the power of love. The power of longing. He's probably long dead. You must scale Lynx Craig. Search there for a means to free Daphne. I will give you my book of tales to refer to. And good luck, Witcher. Why did it say Daphne's Wraith? Oh, I guess, well... Yeah, I guess she would be a Wraith. A spirit inhabiting a tree. Although chopping down a tree with a sword is not the most canonical thing. I probably will have to go into the cave, though. A hut. The witches. Hut looks inhabited. No sign of the dweller, though. Guess I'll look beyond body transformation. Interesting. 
Gray armor die, my favorite. Silk kerchief, monogrammed DF. Hmm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. None but feral cats stray in here most oft. Yet it seems I have a guest from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? Oh boy. Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl. What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales. Did your nan not tell them to you? Even I, the witch of Lynx Crag, would be hard pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. Ladies' night, you ever make it here? Sagarath. Yes. He came to sway me, but had a quick change of heart. To be precise, it came after the first night we spent together. He stayed a fair while. Then his conscience got the better of him, and he resolved to return to his beloved. Might have resolved to, but never made it. A tragic fate befell him along the way. You have anything to do with this turn of fate? Of course. Was I to let another woman have a man who belonged to me? <laughs> I could not abide it. What if I asked you nicely to lift the curse, please? Gareth met the fate he deserved. And what happened to his watch was not. Right, so you didn't cast the curse. But could you help lift it? I probably could. But why ever would I? I'll humble myself, prostrate myself before you like the Gareth of the Tale did. I beseech you to help me. Lift the curse that imprisoned Daphne in the tree. When I saw you enter my hut, I thought, now there is a fellow who shall bend his neck for no one. Stand. None, not even I can restore to the last the yes she has lost, can erase the suffering she has endured. We cannot bring her back to life. But I shall tell you how you might let her depart in peace. Yet my aid shall have its price. A lock of your hair. Hmm. How can I know you won't use it to cast a spell on me? I require this. I must, for with it I will cast a spell to conceal me from you for all time. And will use it for nothing else. You will nag me never again. And you've nothing to fear, I assure you. I always keep my word. Trust you against my better judgment. Lock of my hair's yours. Splendid. What do I need to do? You must convince the maiden her beloved yearned to return, but perished in the attempt. Take her silk kerchief and a fragment of Garrett's remains. His bones lie bleaching in the cave beneath this rock. Fire must consume the kerchief and remains. 
And remember, your heart, your intentions must be pure. Clear? Yeah. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. And adieu. Once you walk out that door, never shall we meet again. I'm going to read that book. Where is it? Uh, to win the approval of the future father-in-law, Gareth had performed seven challenges. The seventh was the hardest. Get to get a link here from a witch who lives and convince her to lift the drought that plagued the whole land. Humble himself before the witch. So we'll see how this goes. But. I may have to redo it. Because I don't know if there's a way to lift the curse or not. But I want to believe there is. Oh, there's the cave. It's like, where am I looking at? Also, sorry about the pauses, just, you know, some moments are coming up and I have to respond.
It's kind of funny that a fairy tale would be true in this universe, though. It would make sense. It's just funny. Okay, this is just another entrance. Again, the game is weird in that regard, where it's just like... It'll show one entrance, and then it won't show the other. Even though this one would have been like ten times easier to get to. And there he lay. Dead in the doornail. remains these them wonder why the armor came apart magic we need to get back to the tree lift the curse She's got to be bleeding from the axe, too. Like, that's the other thing. It's just like, there's no way that axe... She's bleeding, for God's sake. So, you met the witch, you must have. What did you learn? That witch, she's not near as bad as folks say. Made me bow and scrape, sure. But I know some sorceress is witchier than her. Joyous, bleeding news, but what about Daphne? I can lift the curse, free her. By performing a ritual, making a sacrifice of her kerchief and Gareth's remains. But we gotta start at the right time. When the hour comes, I'll light four fires for the four winds. Then begin the ritual. Fires? Then I shall be of use to you after all. Seems you need wood. Much of it. Chop as much as you can. I'll see to the rest. I've chopped and stacked the wood. What now? My turn. Gotta light fires and talk to the woman enchanted in the tree. No idea how this'll turn out. So just in case, stand at a distance. And if you see me draw my sword, run. to the world's four winds. From the south, not a word. From the east, no cry is heard. From the north, silent sighs. From the west, peer hollow eyes. Cease your vigil, dead he lies.
Now here's the fun part, because now I've got to figure out the right thing to say to her, but I have no idea. Hear me, you who hide beneath this bark. The day of your freedom has come. Behold a kerchief, proof of your love for another. Behold, a bone of he to whom you offered your love. Gareth, my Gareth, he shall never return. Okay, so she is just straight up dead. No, he won't. Is his love for me gone? Did he stay true? I'm gonna have to lie to her. Gareth remained faithful to the end of his days. The time comes that I depart. I've waited too long. I've suffered too much. And now I wish to go. Farewell, lady. I thank you, stranger. And you, my knight. I thank you for speaking to me. For standing vigil at my feet. I did not think it would end this way. I hoped we could revive her, but I guess it was not to be. We did all we could. You did well. Here, your pay. And the book is yours as well. Thanks. Take care of yourself. So long, Witcher. I must think. Put this straight in my head. So they're probably...
Sorry. Again, I apologize. Uh, I think that ends about as well as it could have for me, though. I don't actually care. There probably is multiple ways to do that. Like fighting the witch and all that sort of stuff. But, eh. It's not a big deal for me. I'm not worried about it. What was the mission I was on? Was it, no, that was the mission I was on. Okay. Hmm. There is one thing I have to say about the Witcher gear, though. It needs a mechanic where it can, like, adjust with your level as well. Like, with as much investment as you have to put in to get a single Witcher gear set, it's actually insane that it doesn't, like, have, like, god-tier defense just naturally. Now granted, the abilities are great. Like, the percentages, they're fine. But, it could always be better. Oh, there it is. Well, that's not too far at all. Sorry, just keep getting pinged. Quest I want to focus on. I guess we'll just go ahead and um, do the main quest. Because I'm not really worried about the other armor sets right now.
That's gonna drive me nuts. I'm looking at it and I'm just like, it is so close to that to that point. How many freaking archers does this place need? I've been trying to use my uh, my signs for a while there, and it just did not register. That's fine. I was like, I know I'm looking at it. So, Jin, are you watching me right now? I only ask because... <laughs> Do be like that. So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morning, so folks will dirty their boots go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? A witcher. 
And I'd advise you to go back where you came from. I thought witches defend men from monsters, not cheats from justice. Need to talk to the boy. You can chat to him all you like, after we tan his hide. So stand down. I will knock you the fuck out. What's gonna happen? Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same to me. Okay, game. Stop. Stop robbing me of my parries and counters. Did I hit them both at the same time? What the hell? What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men. What are they doing? Nah, they they picked a fight. Fuck them. Obstructing my investigation. Understood. Right. A few days in the Good. Kink ought to teach them not to impeach official. If it was like a death sentence, I'd be like, eh. But come on. A couple of days in the drinker, it's fine. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. Yeah? How do you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership, where I see to the boots while you stand guard. And as you're the stronger, come morn you'd take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about the mud's true? They were right to want to box your ears. I've got to make a living somehow. So, what say you, sir? Partners? Let me think about it. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. I don't want you touching my boots. Alright, fine. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they just come off my stamped. A seat, sir, please. So then, who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock, not from around here. An arrival? Hmm, indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. What? Gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand with a big sign. I want a new box too. New polishes, new brushes. And if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get wastewater for free. Hmm. <laughs> Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. I'm not gonna... Yeah, we're not brainwashing the kid. Let's go. Alright. Let's see if we can't figure something out. That's not even worth the spit I'd need to use to... <sighs> Fine, kid. Okay, 400 as high as I'm going. I swear to God. Out of the question. Quite simply, no. You suck. Fine. Fine. Guess I can agree to that. A thousand thanks. 
I shan't forget it. Now to the matter at hand. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron, gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No, but you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort, and piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. Handled that kid pretty well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning, the right thing to bribe them with. Red door. One that Boot Black mentioned. Plenty of crows and ravens. Won't budge. Gotta break it down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. What the hell did I just see? Consider becoming a burglar? A skill like that had come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. Let's look around. Old toy. No use to anyone. Shame. Must have been. How did I get two levels? And you know what? I'm not going to complain. Um... Yeah, screw crossbow damage. That one's not bad. But... No.
So we're setting up for that one. Five! Five points? Jesus Christ. All right. Well, we're going to stick with Bloodbath, but damn it. Whew. Insane. Time. Mm. Somebody fixed this recently. I find these puppets rather disturbing. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. Sweet kid, though. Basically, she was asking for a... Uh, a toy. But she wrote a letter to the shopkeep to ask him. is his nest. Need to look around. Nice tune. Indeed. I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. Our true home from before the conjunction of spheres. Tools were used recently. Detloff unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really now, Geralt, must you? As a vampire, he doesn't fully understand the the concept, but Detlaf van der Eretain, you do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renoed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. We need but travel to Beauclair. Where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure, your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlaf killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Any idea what it could be? Detlaf have any enemies? Indeed. Detlaf gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlaf yourself. Whoever it is, it is someone new. Who's Renoed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Ever meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came around to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Why do you think that? Any signs or clues to that effect? None to be found. Apparently she disappeared one day. Her belongings disappeared with her. Not a scenario one associates with kidnapping. In my humble opinion, she left on her own. Scared off, perhaps, by a bout of Detlaf's rage that revealed his other, more monstrous side. Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him. Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, 
she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Deadloff ever try to find her? I mean, if she was that important, higher vampires have their ways, all kinds. Should have been easy as pie for him. Geralt, as you rightly noted, we are vampires, not miracle workers. He searched for months on end before giving up. Clearly, Renewed knew him all too well. Enough to cover her tracks, leave no way for him to find her. Even if Renewed did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that, and hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. Killed one of his friends. Kill. That's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He kills, for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, those individuals, they mean nothing to him. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. Right, so someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. Need to look around some more. Woman's likeness. Bit smudged. That Renawed? I don't know. As I said, I never met her. Reminds me of someone. Who? Not sure. Can't help feeling I've seen that face before, though. So somebody we've met. Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de la Croix. Detlef's victims, one and all, but that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter, all of it written using the same ink. See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite. Rare mineral, pretty much found only in... Nazaire. But I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Look, this slip is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either. Especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Wine in Nazaire. Blackmailer. Kinda curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis. Somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Bold to begin with. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. A vampire you yourself insisted no murderer. Blackmailer's skilled. Someone special. Hmm. Astute. Now that I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind? Another vampire? Precisely. The plot thickens. Just a hypothesis. Wouldn't set my heart on it till we know more. Right you are. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Deadlaugh's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink. And not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Deadlaugh's innocence, clearly. He wants it to be true. I'm going to say true because I'd probably do the same thing. In fact, when I was working for Gaunter, if they'd asked me to kill somebody, I'm not going against Gaunter. So I'm going to say true in this case. Actually, it is. Detloff's being manipulated. Some lunatics turned him into a tool, making him kill. So it would seem. But this illuminates a path of action for us. We must find Renowet. Render the blackmail senseless. The lunatic or ticks will thus lose hold on Detlaf. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detlaf? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. I'll wait with you, maybe. No, he'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. 
I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. The Duchess is not going to be happy about this because I'm literally going to tell her, don't worry about the dead guys. The vampire didn't mean it. And she's going to be like, these are my knights. And I'm going to be like, yeah, but he had a reason. <sighs> no one gives a hoot about us poor folk. What is the effect of this potion? Anyway, moving on. Actually, no. I just thought of something. Um, not the Wraith, not Pops Mold. Where is it? The problem is the negative aspect of that potion is that you can't do anything else while it's doing something. Closer, there is. So, do I lie to her highness? Is the question. Because, again, I'm going to have to have the unpopular opinion with her. They will be pissed. Garot of Rivia, Master Witcher. I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? K 
case is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster, and you return with nothing? We are very disappointed. Yeah, be angry. The situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods? Pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! Your grace, I shall assemble a batu. Bring the matter to its end at once. The witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Go ahead. Send them to their death. Certain death. To a lone witcher, perhaps. To forty of my men at arms, but another skirmish. Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guardsmen in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. No. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires. Alps, Ekamaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What then do you intend to do? It's way beyond being some monster. This is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Tja, impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved us all? Don't usually meddle in our matters. Mostly stay out of our way because they don't care about humans one way or the other. And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. <laughs> They'd probably be pretty amused if you asked them that. They're well aware of their strength. Then what can we do? Do you have a plan? Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. <laughs> know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmail? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. Or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only half the problem. Blackmailers at fault chiefly. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. And what do you propose to do? I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. Duchess, you no need one to listen. Should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. 
One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Sent for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! Ooh. In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here, there is no such thing as a drop of wine or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Ervelus, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me. Identify the wine. Show him the paper scrap. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? Mm. Mm, yes, yes. The, the west bank of the Saint Latour. No, that, that's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Hue, deep burgundy. Clarity, high. It's simple. Saint Real, the 1269 vintage. That's... That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Ravello. Especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Perhaps some song real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard. See if there's not been an incident. Song real? Never heard of it. It's highly unlikely you've ever had a chance to partake of it. As I said, it is only ever served to the ducal family. Didn't stop it from ending up on that scrap of paper. Unless your grace's sommelier is mistaken. In matters of wine, Benoit is never mistaken. If he says it's Sonreal, it is Sonreal. We must ride to Castel Ravello at once. Discover what has happened. Wait. Your Grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your Grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go, accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Yes, your grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready? Let's do it. Yeah, ready to go. Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off. This vampire, have you ever faced its sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure. But he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. Slow now. Whoa. Slower. We must help! Stay back, Your Grace! We shall see to this! Help! Save us! <laughs> Save us! 
done. Time to move on. If, if not for you, we'd have been done for. You were fortunate Thank we you. happened by. You saved our lives. Hooray! Tell me more about this vineyard, Castel Ravello. It's the best in all Tucson. An old master of the winemaking trade runs it, Fabricio. He trustworthy? He's held his post for years. There's never been a problem. Till now. I wish to know your thoughts, Geralt. The Sonrial stain, how did it wind up on the paper? Is someone from the vineyard blackmailing the vampire? Could be a servant. Could be the steward. Could be the one we've just stolen from the estate. We shall know when we arrive. It's not far now. Captain de la Tour, we did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. Especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... your grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? Came to see you. Got some questions. In this land, it is seen as polite to introduce oneself before asking any questions. This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. Of... of course, Your Grace. Did you hear that, witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. Want to talk about San Real? I am at your service. Some of this wine might have been stolen. Just a suspicion we have, but any burglaries lately? Burglaries? Not to my knowledge. And a few days past, I took stock of the inventory. Uh, all was accounted for. The barrels lie safely in the cellar, I assure you. The Saint Real, how many vineyard workers have access to it? One might say only I do. Not like you make the wine all alone. At least a dozen others work here. I see you've little notion how wine is made. Grapes travel a long road before they become Saint Real. The workers. Assist me only to the stage of fermentation. I see to the maceration personally, and let no one near the fat. Workers, again, assist me during barreling, but then I seal the aging barrels myself, each and every one. The wine lies in the cellar, gains character. Once this process is complete, it becomes surreal. And, as it happens, only I have the key to the cellar in question. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a waste of time. Your Grace? How am I to understand this? Master Fabricio, we have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have. Which means one of two things. Either you lie to our face, or... You are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it! In either case, you shall answer for it. But... but... Silence! And listen. I shall inspect the barrels in person, thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Remind me, where is this Andreal stored? In... In the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. 
Oh, of course, Your Grace. Here it is. Come, Witcher. We shall wait here, Master Fabrizio. What if Fabrizio's blackmailing the vampire? Considered that? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabrizio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravello. Only then did he come into his own. Start. Let us see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. Oh boy. Mm, Vintner's log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is, barreling. Mm, everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Ervelus. I like it. Quite dry. An excellent wine. With good taste. Est, est. I think everyone and their mothers heard of this wine. Among the best in the world. Castel Ravello is famous. Got Pamino over here. What's well, none of those? Also, yeah, I'm just taking wine because I can. Fiorano, Dandelion's favorite, adores it. Ah, yes, that sophisticated palate of his. Okay, I'm a little confused because shouldn't the song real be out here? Wait. Year. Keep looking. Here we go. Right here, 1269. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Want to open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. 
full. This one's full too. Full. This one's full too. Full. Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of San Riyadh? Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. Ready. We can start. Lucky you. Ready. Step aside. I have a feeling we'll find something awry. So? There was hints of spice. Distinctive. This is Son Real. Revolting, bitter, plonk. Could have gone sour while aging. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Master Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. Since he was the only one with the key, right? Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But, Your Grace, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. I... I, I admit it. I, I, I sold a barrel of Sorreal. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered, it was enormous. I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I have a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I shall tell you everything, if you agree to show me mercy. Who do you sell the wine to? A few weeks past at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. This man's name? He never revealed it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I have no Sintra in aristocrat at court. Really thought nobody'd find out. I was a fool, very foolish. I beg you, Your Grace, you must forgive me. Wine itself, how'd you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart, and we went our separate ways. That's it? At the last you ever saw of them? They... That is to say, a, a few days passed. A, a messenger arrived. 
He said they wished to buy another barrel and, well, I've prepared it. Have it ready to deliver. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabricio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. What now, Witcher? We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sentry and Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. Let's go. See no reason to wait. Let's get going. We will set out now. Position ourselves before you arrive. You take the cart and meet us there. Fine. When the handoff begins, watch for my signal. The signal will be I will fire f an air burst from my hand. I don't know. Talk time, huh? It's not him. Just me, or did we agree you'd wait for my signal? That was the plan, but... Great shot. Good thing you reacted. Can't say how that would have ended otherwise. At your service. It was a good fight. We managed to capture one of the scoundrels. Let's ask him a few questions. Come on. Witcher, a moment. I was wrong about you. Don't need to like each other. Just gotta do our jobs. If that's how you wish to treat it. At any rate, I see the effort you put forth. And I appreciate it. Let us go to her grace. She awaits nearby. Not at all surprised. Expected she'd want to oversee this personally. The master's eye fattens the calf. You're beginning to understand that, I see. This prisoner of yours, bring him to me. We must ask him some questions. Captain, 
Do the honors. Who sent you? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. Once again, who sent you? Your nun's lover. They call it... Wait. He doesn't wish to speak. He needs it. I can think of several other ways he can be helpful. I'm certain the Witcher will need bait to lure the beast of Beauclair. What? what? Sure can. Fresh out. In that case, he's all yours. Captain, have your men find me a strong rope. Kind that won't snap when we hang this fellow from a tree. R rope Live bait. Great for monsters, provided they catch the scent of its blood. But I'll see to that. What? No. Crikey, no! Don't let him! Stop screaming. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. No! Don't let him! I I'll talk! Barrels. Where were you gonna take them? I don't know. Captain, need that rope after all. I truly don't know. Hornet's the leader. Only he ever knew where to go. But he lies over there, dead. That one. The first barrel went to a warehouse at the port. But where this one was bound, I don't know. I, I speak true. You must believe me. Who hired you? He... he'll kill me. I'll kill you. About me right now. Who is he? Go on, man. Spit it out. The Cintrian. That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered the man for this caper. That's what they said, that we were working for the Cintrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. Captain, we ride to town. Gather your men and seek out the Cintrian. Someone else must have seen him, must know of him. Yes, Your Grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. Let's go. Let's go to town. He's late. Relax, he'll come. There's something I'd like to know. How can you be so damned calm? Side effect of my mutations. We witchers rarely get the jitters. What if something has happened to him? Captain seems like a man who can take care of himself. Perhaps he can. But this Cintrian appears to be no common bandit. He managed to steal ducal wine from under my guardsman's gnosis. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. And it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally confident to blackmail such a monster. Still don't know this Cintrian's behind the kidnapping and blackmail. Might have just handled the theft of the wine. Even if it's so, he then sold the wine to the blackmailers. As I see it, that makes him an accomplice. Need to find the Cintrian, whether or not he's responsible for the murders. Even if none of it's his doing, he could still know our blackmailer's identity. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they... Someone's coming. Captain, why so long? 
We expected you hours ago. This Centrium does not work alone. We are fighting an organization, not one man. Bandits attacked us, not a small force either. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee, lamed for life. And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Geralt. My head? Don't care. Down to business. You learn anything? I will start at the beginning. The port warehouse where the wine was delivered? We identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. We found him. He admitted all. A man had paid him to sign the lease, a man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. There, fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Cintrian accent. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. No distinguishing marks. This could be anyone. But she remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Cintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. The singer? I've heard of her. She said to be gifted, fairy. The same. We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her servants. A chambermaid claimed Cecilia is to meet a Cintrian gentleman tonight. She'd invited him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. The Mandragora? What's that? A club. An affiliation of local artists. Painters, sculptors, troubadours and dancers. Never heard of it. They exude a mystique. Consciously, I think. Behaving like an exclusive cabal. Artistic elites. Every now and again they mount soirees. Only wealthy patrons are invited. All arrive in elaborate masks, then drink and flirt. Gotta nab the Cintrian. Seems we have to go to that get-together. You read my mind, Witcher. I shall gather my men, surround the establishment. Not a mouse will squeeze through. Out of the question. If the Cintrian truly does have men about the city, he will find out and escape once again. Duchess is right. Need to be careful. Best go there, blend in with the crowd. Precisely what we shall do. We, Your Grace. She keeps jumping Gerard in. And I. In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. Where's the event going to be held? The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A residence in Oatville. It's a very distinguished district. Geralt, you must don appropriate attire. Ah, uh, not again. And meet me in Oatville, in Mountebank Alley. Yeah. Yeah. That's a contract, all right.
You're right, Mayata. It's not Gwent. You're correct. than you now? What does that mean? Pierre! Ah, well. I'll just... I'm more... If I'm going in, I'm going in in style. You need to get back to playing it? Have you completed the game? Sometime later. Well, well. I did not expect you to have such a sense of style. Not all bad. Nothing like a budding artist, of course, but... Just one other detail. Here, put it on. A mask? All who attend the Mandragora Soiree wear them. If you have one on, no one asks who you are. Any idea why they wear masks? Likely, because they imagine it oh so very romantic and mysterious. The truth is far simpler. This way, no one can tell which drunken aristocrats are pinching the performers. Let's go. Soiree started. Mm-hmm. Wise of you to hide your weapons. They'd not have let us in otherwise, that's certain. Although going in weaponless was not my best idea. How do we find this Intrian? Have you a plan? He is not to spook him. Need to ask after his partner, Cecilia, first. Less likely to raise suspicions. As soon as we find her, we find him. Especially since he might be expecting us. What do you mean? Ran into some of his thugs in town. Knew who I was. Had it in for me. Right. Right you are. We must proceed with caution. Come, it's our turn. Madame, Monsieur, an extraordinary pleasure to welcome you to the Mandragora Soiree. 
Tonight, I particularly recommend you direct your attention to the performances prepared by artists of our community. Tell me about them. Tell us about these performances. This evening, the Mandragora has the honor to present three superb displays of artistry. The first was a concert by Cecilia Belont, a singer whose voice, were it stone, would there surely we go. be a diamond. Sadly, Mademoiselle Cecilia has sung. Shame. You would have loved to hear her. Uh, luckily, you are in time to see the great Calesti, a master of visual illusions, come to us from far off a fear. Visual illusions. Interesting. And the third artist? Uh, the third and fourth, for they are a duo, are the Tuven brothers, presenting their newest pantomime. We were really hoping to meet Cecilia Ballant. You are admirers, I surmise. I'm certain you will have ample opportunity to converse with her. It cannot be easy to identify anyone in this crowd. Perhaps you could help us find her. Hmm, I don't know where she is now, but I can give you a clue. Let's hear it. Seek the Kaviri Orchid. Meaning? Cecilia wears one in her hair. You shall recognize her easily by the orchid. Well, well. Dandelion's always complaining about artists being poor as temple mice. The residence belongs to none of them. They are guests here. Oriana, she owns this. Woman in the black dress. There, on the balcony. Got her. Doesn't wear a mask? It would be pointless. All would know her anyway. Kaviri Orchid. Let's look for it. If we find Cecilia, we'll find the Cintrian. Look in the alcoves. Voila, fine. Now, allow me a moment to ponder. My appraisal? The painting depicts spiritual dualism, the continual battle between good and evil, and defiance. <laughs> oh, yes, that's him, all right. Good versus evil, the dualistic nature of man. And defiance. And defiance. It must be something. Such talent. Have 
Simpson, the preferred hooch of artists. Careful, it packs a pretty powerful punch. I've built up a pretty powerful resistance. Oh, well. I think I found her on accident. Do not disturb. Shoo, shoo. Mm -hmm. It's the right flower. Of course it is. A Koviri orchid lends just the right contrast to her complexion. Need to talk to your model. It'll only take a minute. To me? Lie still. You may speak, but for love's sake, do not move. Wow. Impressive portrait. I know the style, the stroke. This is Dorian Villes. The gracious lady has heard of me. I... I've heard... Anna Henrietta herself wished you to paint her portrait once. Ah, uh, at one point, the palace chamberlain even wrote to me, but, alas, ultimately refused my terms. What was the matter? When he learned I only ever paint nudes, he suffered all contact. He said he would not dare offend her illustrious highness with such a proposition. I've always longed to paint her such a shame. I think you may still get your chance. Fine. <laughs> we'll discuss that another time. We came here to meet you, specifically. To meet me? But why? Sentry and Noble you came here with. Wanted to ask you about him. Sintrian Noble? Ah! You must think I'm Cecilia. Orchid uh, confused me. I told you not to move! As she concluded her performance, Cecilia tossed the flower into the crowd. I caught it. But I did see the nobleman. Really like to talk to him. What did he look like? Like many here. Tall, dark, masked. Know where he might be now? He gave Cecilia a small gift, a heart-shaped box. Then they strolled off together towards the refreshment tables. Excuse me, madame, monsieur, I cannot work like this. You must leave now. Anyway, back to uh, what I was doing. All right, dolphin man. The dolphins. That is no ordinary illusion. The man is a true artist. Impressive. What else do they think of? If they can't agree. You know what? I'm going to go with it. the 
Grand Cup seems somewhat higher to me. It's fine. Relax. Master Bouvon is a generous being. Look, lanterns. They say releasing them brings good luck. Let's give it a try. Never suspect that you believe in such things. No. Perhaps yes. Oh, I don't know. We need all the good luck. I like how it was already over here and it just leads me back. Aren't they even? Because the right cup seems somewhat tired to me. It's fine. Relax. Master Hugo is a generous patron and a Sorry, only artists in the Mandragora allowed. Come. We must consider what to do. that voice anywhere you you must be mistaking me for someone else I served 15 years in the palace your grace I'd not mistake you for anyone shh not so loud we are here incognito on state business yes your grace how may I serve I hope we can count on your discretion. Of course. I shall be silent as the grave. Looking for Cecilia Bellant, seen her? She's in her dressing room, where she went with a nobleman. They clearly were drawn to each other. What did the man look like? Tall, broad-shouldered, a black beard peeping out from under his mask. And he spoke with a foreign accent, a drawl of sorts. That must be him. We must get to the dressing room, quickly. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take you. No, stay here. Anyone tries to flee, you stop them. Understood. I feel like you're gonna die. Quickly, upstairs. Or lose an arm or something. Cecilia. No pulse. We're too late. He... He slit her throat. The brute. Mm. Didn't go out the door. Guard would have noticed. Might still be somewhere here. You must find him before he harms another. I shall alert Oriana. At once. She should bring her soiree to a close. Shouldn't split up. Get out, I will be fine. Go after that rogue. I shall fetch help. Hmm. Killed her, then went out on the balcony.
tore down the door, made a platform. Bloody handprint. Clever. Mm -hmm. Must be pretty strong too. Broke the flower pot when moving the door, then stepped in the soil. Footprints must have climbed by side of boots. He's back in the party, isn't he? is bent, smeared with blood. Someone try to grab it. Canvas is cut. Somebody took a knife to the painting, looks like. Empty inkwell. Knocked over, turned toward the room. The murder weapon. valuable, but it's not what he came for. Blood on the window frame. Someone climb out, fall out. Must have tiny chain links next to it from a snapped necklace. Seems there was a struggle. Jewel was in the box, it seems. Centrion tried to steal it, but someone got in his way. They fought, struggled, that's clear. Ended with one of them flying out the window. Fall had to have killed them. Jewel's still here, though. So our Centrion must have been the flyer. So, this is the tracker. A witcher, yes? Indeed, this is him. We found the body together. Then he set off in pursuit of the killer. And ended up here. But I've only found evidence of a fight. Seems the Centrians killed his last. Finally failed this time. Shame it happened too late for Cecilia. Poor girl. Always told her she chose her males badly. But I would never have suspected she could arrive with a murderer. I'll alert the staff. Have them see to her body at once. Meanwhile, we should sit. I will tell you everything. In full detail. I caught him red-handed, attempting to burgle, rifling through my possessions. What did you do? Summon the guards? Oh, there was no time. I feared he'd escape, refused to give him the chance. He stood with his back to me, so I attacked. He struck his head on a picture frame as we struggled. He was bleeding, dazed, and then he drew a knife. Everything happened very quickly then. I knocked the weapon out of his hand and pushed him hard. He fell out of the window. Just so.
None too wise picking a fight with an armed robber. Why? Because I'm a woman, in a frock rather than plate. I can take care of myself, I assure you. A hairpin might look like mere ornament, but plunged into an eye, it can be as effective as a blade. I'm not disagreeing with that logic, but what I am disagreeing with is, like, the idea that, yeah, I could just do that. He'll just let me poke his eye out. No. Claim the man was trying to rob you when you walked into the room? Yes. He stood over my dressing table, pouring through my jewelry. Mm -hmm. After this is my guess. Picked it up while searching. Why, that's the heart of Toussaint. Oriana, how did you ever come to have it? I bought it, many years ago, from a young woman. Jewel seems important. Why? The heart is an heirloom. It belonged to my family for years. Then it disappeared. I didn't think we would ever recover it. Seems someone is very determined to find it. The thief left his tool bag behind. Found this drawing inside it. Look. The heart of Toussaint. Representation's pretty faithful. Centrian must have been on a job. Got very clear instructions what to look for. So... So it is not him we seek, but his employer. Is this the only evidence we found? Also happened on the weapon he attacked Oriana with. Hunting knife. Used to skin game. Got an emblem on its hilt. This crest is used by the Lords of Duntine. The present master of the castle is a passionate hunter. Our next lead, perhaps. Duntine. Remember the place. Abandoned ruin just a few years ago. More recently, the family's last heir. Roderick returned to his ancestral seat and restored the castle. Know any more about this Roderick? His grandfather was an advisor to Queen Ademarta. The family received those lands as a grant for his service. Roderick is quite the recluse. He avoids society, preferring the company of a small team of knights. Though the latter term is imprecise, as they seem more akin to vandals with crests on their shields. Oriana, everything we discussed here... Hope you'll keep it to yourself. Counting on it, in fact. Word gets out he, uh, failed in his attempt to steal the jewel. His employer could run. We need to proceed cautiously. Discretion is in the interest of us all. I'll not ask what this is about, just as I expect not to be troubled about it again. By anyone. <clears throat> Forgive me, Madam Oriana, but might I have a word? You must excuse me a moment. The body probably left or went missing. Oriana, any thoughts? Few make me feel awkward, but in her presence, I sense anxiety, discomfort. The drawing. It's on the same type of paper the victim's names were written on. Drawn with the same ink, too. Seems the work of our blackmailers. Who were not only behind the beast's murders, but also stole the Son Real and sought to steal the heart of Toussaint. Look, the wine, the jewel, both tied to you intrinsically. Coincidence? Not something I'm willing to believe. Worried about one thing. That somewhere at the end of this scheme, plan might call for an attempt on your life. It... it could be something else altogether. My sister, Siana, might be among the schemers. She left court when we were children. My parents banished her from the duchy. I've not seen her since. Think your sister might be involved? Why? You see, I recall her always being rather possessive throwing jealous fits if I had something she didn't. Here, yeah, that's normal for sisters. 
rivalry. True. I suppose I gave as good as I got. There are times I miss that very much. The wine, its theft was the first clue. That's very much like her. She always did enjoy stealing my toys. But I grew almost certain when I saw the heart of Toussaint. Siana received it from father as a gift. At a time when my parents thought of her as but an ill-behaved little girl, someone wanted some of my wine. The same someone ordered our family jewels stolen. Or recovered. It's my sister. It must be. A fallen princess satisfying whims, going after lost luxuries? Hmm. Could be right. What did your sister do to get banished? Siana was... cursed. Parents run afoul of some mage? No. She was born at an inopportune moment. They said she was touched by the curse of the Black Sun. Geralt, is it true? Can an individual be evil because they were born during the wrong lunar phase? Could be the case. Could also mean because they were treated like lepers from birth. Isolated, prodded, ostracized. Couldn't have had it easy, Siana. She... She was angry at the whole world. She felt inferior, felt pain, though she masked this with confidence, arrogance even. She could also be cruel at times. I recall one such situation. She persuaded Cedric the Coolbert that she could see the future in her dreams. We were children, and Cedric's brother was smitten with me. It was an innocent childhood crush. Siana knew of it. She told Cedric of a dream she had had, that he would die at the hands of his own brother. Cedric stole his father's sword and killed his brother. She destroyed two lives with a prank. Cedric mourns to this day. In the end, they forced her to leave the palace. A decade passed. More. I've missed her terribly since. Your mission has gained new import. You must go to Dun Tyne. And if Siana is there, you must find her. No matter what she did, she is not to be harmed in any way, shape or form. You must make sure of that. I'll find her if she's there. I hope you do. I very much wish to talk to her. Sister to sister. Your Grace, Geralt, I'd like to introduce... Regis! What a surprise! I had no idea you were in Beauclair. And this is... Uh, my very dear friend, Detlaf van der Eretain, an arrival from Nazaire. We are lending our combined resources to the Witch's Hunt. Ah, yes. Splendid. But why are you here at Oriana's? They came to pay me a surprise visit, so I invited Regis in for a glass of wine. We've known each other for... Ooh, ages, literally. Witcher, I hear you know Regis too. Even that you are friends. Few I can rely on like I can on Regis. Kinda hoping he thinks the same of me. Curious. It seems opposites really do attract. Don't be fooled, dear. Geralt has many merits. He merely hides them from the world very diligently. Mm -hmm. You said you're both aiding him with his contract. It involves the Beast of Beauclair, I suspect. Master Witcher, maybe you could satisfy my curiosity. What's it like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a monster, knowing you've only two options, to kill or be killed? Despite what you might have heard, I don't lunge at every monster I see, sword in hand. Talking gets the job done for some. Hmm. I wonder what a monster might have to say to you. It might want to apologize. My word. Well, what might the monster wish to apologize to a witcher? For killing. Though at times there is no choice, when loved ones are at risk and require protection. Same as humans. Put them in that situation, they'll kill too. You understand this. It must
must be why you and Aegis are friends. If I understand you correctly, you would rather help a monster than kill it. If possible, yeah. Or at least try. Enough about the Witcher trade for now. Regis mentioned you come from Nazel. I spent time there as a child. Fond memories? It was wonderful. I was positively entranced by the land's fashions. Deep-cut dresses I found most fascinating. I believe we're running short on wine. I should go to the cellar, bring another bottle. Let me go. Wanna help Regis? Know your wine a lot better than I know mine. We shall return forthwith. An exceptional conversation, don't you think? Vampires, a witcher, and the Duchess of Toussaint? My, my. Highly exceptional, Regis. Wanted to talk to you in private. You crazy bringing Detloff here? Geralt, uh, allow me to explain. No, let me explain. He's dangerous, and you are gonna watch him. But that is precisely what I'm doing. Detloff believes you'll succeed in your task, and he'll not need to kill anymore. That is, not until he gets his hands on the men who kidnapped his Renner. Guessing it's no accident you two stopped by. It would be quite some coincidence indeed. No, a dutiful little bird told us. Mm-hmm. Oriana, she really your friend? Can she be trusted? Uh, I met her years ago, uh, before I met you. And before she settled in Beauclair, we'd not seen one another in... Uh, oh, I, I can't begin to tell you in how long. But I shall tell you all about her some other day. Now listen close. Manage to learn where the blackmailers are. They're based at Duntine Castle. That's splendid news. If they are there, Renna must be there as well. Duchess expects we'll find her long-lost sister there too. Thing is, she might be involved, could be behind the blackmailing. Do you mean to say your task now is to extract two women from the castle? Mean to say we can't breathe a word of this to Dedloff, who wants revenge above all else. Geralt, you must trust me. I've got a way with... No, Regis. Can't risk it. Gotta keep Dedloff here while I go to Duntine. Alone? Alone. That way I can make sure neither woman will come to any harm. I hope you know what you're doing. Fine. I shall see to Detlaff. Good luck, my friend. Splendidly, Detlaff. Ah, oh, I'm grateful you brought back those memories. You're back. It took you long enough. Contrary to what common folk believe, choosing a wine is not nearly as easy as it might seem. Especially a wine to be served to two exquisite ladies. Regis, gallant as ever. I regret all the more that I shan't finish this second bottle with you. Duty calls. Your Grace, always a pleasure. I thank you for your help. It's been invaluable. Geralt, will you see me out? You have exceptional friends. This Detlaf, an intriguing man to say the least. Don't know him too well. He say much about himself? Not much, but I've a good sense of the true nature of those I meet. I'd not survive a week at court otherwise. So what's his? Sensitive, sad. He carries within him the weight of a terrible tragedy. He is a good man, but lost, which is why he comes across as grim. Didn't expect the evening to end like this. Neither did I. But I have not drawn you out for a romantic stroll. I wish to make certain you know what you are to do. Mm-hmm. Gotta go to Duntine. I've decided my guardsmen will support you. You will meet them at Count de la Croix Mill. It stands along the Saint Retour River. Near the Cockatrice Inn. Captain de la Tour and his men will await you there at midnight. You shall storm the castle together. Oh. 
don't know if storming the castle is the best idea, but you know. More around here. Can I shoot your crossbow? I'll shoot you with the crossbow. How does that sound? All right, anyway. This help my own left eye. What are you? Farewell. Good luck on the path. All right. So, with everything being said and done for that mission, we will do the raid tomorrow as far as, like, the, the castle's concerned. But I appreciate you all being here. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for enjoying. And, uh, yeah, my... My vacation comes to an end Thursday night because I have to go back to work Friday and then it'll be a weekend again and I'll be off again. So, you know, but um, yeah, for right now, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for enjoying. This is actually much shorter than all the other streams I've done on this game so far. So um, but I appreciate anybody who stopped by, said hello, just lurked. It's all good. We'll see everybody next time. All right. Bye-bye.